this is what I've done so far. Um, I have this idea of a window in Go. So this is actually in this is in Go, the server, right? And this is going to be a window that has like uh, you know uh, 24 by 80, right? So there we go. So it's it's like a it's like an ASCII window in Go, and then we're going to have the same window in Vim, right? So this would be Vim, and we're going to send TCP messages from Go to Vim. These are just raw dogged TCP messages. It's not HTTP. It's not any of that kind of stuff, okay? This is just straight up, we're raw dogging, boys. N not even TLS, okay? Just raw and dog. Um, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to display what's on the server on the client. Now, I get, this, I get this question every single time. Why not UDP? And I have to ask a question. A, t a team demand. I have to. I have to. I have to ask you a question. Why should I use UDP? I am. I am. Shy Rai. Why would I use UDP? Oh yeah, buddy. Why use UDP? Yeah, then you tell them. Pick. UDP is when you don't care about loss. Not true. UDP works in two very important ways, okay? So I'm going to hit you with why UDP works and why UDP doesn't work, okay? And if you don't understand this, then you suck. Okay, so first off, a lot of times you'll see UDP used in RTP. And the reason, well, it is. It's part of the specification. I forget the RC number. And the reason why this is the case is that RTP sends something like 30 or 50 packets or 30 or 50 frames per second, depending if we're talking about sound or video. All right, so that means, and each frame, video frame, could be made of usually one to two to five actual UDP packets. Remember, this is going to include not only is it going to include uh, video, it's also going to include uneven level protection via forward error correction. Okay, everybody knows this. If you don't know this, then you don't know about XOR. Okay, very very simple. Okay, so it's going to have these extra things right here. Now, when you use UDP, the reason why this works is that this packet gets one, two, three. This is usually on a separate channel, so this is like one on a separate channel. And then you got this one right here, four, five. So when you miss a packet and all of a sudden you get seven, the time between this is like literally 10 milliseconds. You know what just happened right here. You know for a fact that you goofed up and oopsie daisies. I thought that one got replaced, right? Our RFC uh, 3555. I thought that one got uh, deprecated. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's actually a newer version of this one that's a, that's that's older, um, if I'm not mistaken. RT, uh, RTP uh, RFC uh, newer? Oh, no, no, never mind. It was deprecated from 1889. That's right. It was, uh, yeah, okay, my bad. That That is the one that was defre deprecated. Okay, anyways, so when this happens, you're able to tell where something went wrong. So this is RTP. RTP is built on top of UDP. So typically what you're going to send back is a NAC, a negative acknowledgement. I did not get number seven. That means your server has to hold on to previous packets that they have sent you specifically so that when this happens, they know that when you NAC something specifically, it's able to have that information and send it back to you. Now, this is entirely complicated. I am building a effing real-time renderer for NeoVim, which is going to send a packet like once every second, maybe? So why the hell would I use UDP? I would be seconds behind even knowing that I got something incorrect. Like, I might not know that I'm incorrect for 10 full-ass seconds. That's the problem. Ass seconds. If you don't know what an ass second is, then you don't know shit. Hey, by the way, thank you, the same black hat. I appreciate that, Masood. Appreciate the 500 biddies. Team demand, thank you. Glitch and Pognar, appreciate the 500, uh, 500 biddies, okay? Thank you, Shy Ryan, the Chester, and Sea Horsely, and pushing me to be a better dev. I'm trying, oh man, tune in at the right time for the rant. So there you go. This is why I don't do that kind of stuff, is because people often want you to use all this complicated stuff, but they don't actually understand the, the, the reasons why you use it, okay? If you don't understand why you use something, don't ask why I'm not using it. 
Like, you got to first understand the thing. And then be like, okay, why aren't you using this thing? Because it seems like there's good trade-offs here. Then I can, we can have, like, a discussion about trade-offs and such. This is like asking, why don't you use Rust? It's just like, yo, yo, dog. <laughs> but why not UDP? But why not male models? Why not male models? Gosh darn it, people. Okay, pick. I'm starting with you. And from there on out, I, I want I want you and everybody else to line up in a nice line, and I'm going to slap, and I want to hit all of your faces at once. Just slap. Oh, my gosh. Is that blue steel? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for the explanation. Yeah. Actually, not Rust. Yeah, slap me, Daddy. <laughs> gosh. Somehow, I'm still getting owned. I, how do I keep getting owned here? Okay, anyway, so this is the idea. So I'm going to send down partial render. So I actually have the ability to send... Oh, that's not partial render. That's RP. I, uh, uh, I have partial renders and renders. Renders are going to be uh, two UDP... Pa or two... They're going to be two packets. And partial renders will hopefully be one packet. Okay? Does that make sense? So let's build a simple little server... That will send down like a count like a counter that hops around. Hades shock, let's go. Does that sound good? Ooh. Can I understand what's being saying? No. No, I can't. Is it probably Portuguese? Yes, it probably is. But it's great. All right, why not just uh, use an echo server edge function for $50 a month plus $10 per thousand calls? Everything just happens. Some shit. So there we go. Uh, TP is just slower, and today's chance of getting a packet loss in UDP is low. Okay, cool. You're absolutely right. And when 5,000 people are playing this game and I lose one packet and somebody gets completely out of sync with the server because I didn't build in the entirety of all of that, maybe, just maybe, it's not worth it, okay? First off, well done. Internship to senior dev. Hey, let's go. Well done. Good job kicking ass. Set names. I, 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 I want you to worry about, worry about this phrase, okay? First off, outdated stack. There is no such thing as outdated stacks. So There's just decisions made at a specific time. It's working, okay? But good job. Second off, you've already proved yourself. Make sure you're getting paid for what you're doing. You've, you earned it. They gave you the promotion. You've already earned it. You don't need to keep proving anything. Okay? Don't feel the need to prove. Yeah. Yes, I would agree with this, Starlight Stu. This I would agree with if I had this. I don't have this. This is why I'm not choosing UDP because I can't replace the state every single time or else I have to send two UDP packets every single time. And if I have a whole bunch of people and I'm maxing out like that, I could end up sending like just literally gigabytes of information and I don't want to do that. My goal is to send as little information as possible. You know what I mean? Um, don't try. You don't need to prove yourself. You've already proved yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right path. Junior to senior citizen in six months. I know. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. So we already have, so we already have render down. We've already done this. I actually have a little server that will literally render out. And as you make requests, it will actually paint X's across, which I thought was pretty cool. So there's actually two way TCP communication, by the way, here, which is pretty great. Um, so now what I want to do is I actually want to try to get this whole idea of a partial render down and implement it. So that way I'm able to like send how things should change. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. So today's goal is partial renders. Pull request called it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. 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 YouTube chat loves you, Prime. I know YouTube chat loves me. YouTube chat, I, I would love to love you back. Just please don't be weird. And also, um, Twitch, you, or Twitter chat or whatever's going on here. Hey, Twitter chat, you're so, why, why are you so behind? Why are you so behind? I always have to refresh it. Twitter chat is best. Is it? It was frozen again. It's been frozen multiple times. Damn. 
Twitter chat was like frozen for two hours. I know. You, Twitter chat, you, uh, Twitter chat, not using two speeches, my right here, boys. Um, is that Excalibur? Draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways. So that's the goal for today. All right. Awesome. So now let's try creating a nice little server for this. Okay. If I've done this correctly, dang it, I got to quit doing this thing where I keep not like building each different test in as a something partial render. I should actually have a partial render. You know what? Let's create a partial render test server so I can actually have this as a test, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Partial render uh, server. There we go. Uh, main dot go. Uh, pack 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 package main uh, funk uh, main. There we go. And let's see. I think I made something that uh, server dot main. I thought I made something that would do all of this for me. Didn't I do something here that just does all of this for me? Because this is so annoying to have to write every single time. Right? Like, I don't want to have to write this every time. I'm starting to see that I'm going to be using this a lot. So it's kind of like maybe I should just have like a a simple open uh, package. Do I have anything under package? Do I have like a utils? I don't really have a utils, do I? Can I just do a... Uh, I'll call it test utils. Should I call it test utils? Yeah, I'm going to call it till two. Oh, quantum! Oh! Tier three for three months in advance. Thank you for that. I appreciate that, quantum. I appreciate that. You're making me hot. You're making me bothered. You're making me great. You're making me... Mm. T toodles? Ooh, toodles. Toodles. Is it toodles? Is it toodles or is it... Or is it testes? Testes. Testes. Uh... Actually, we'll go like this. Uh, type uh, uh, testes, testy, testy ops. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. U16. Oh yeah. Is it U16? Is it that? Is it that? Uh, package. Uh, what is it? Testes. All right. Do one of those. U16. I think that's right. Oh, I already have a port right there, so it should be. You int. Uh, but then, see, I do all of this stuff, right? Ah, let's not even do this. Let's not even do this. Just from args. From args. That's fine. From args, right? And we'll have, um, we'll have, shut up. Oh my goodness. Can we just, can you, can you, sh can you shut up? Uh, window dot window. And then we also have an error, right? Dude, Copilot sometimes just thinks that it knows everything. Hey, Devin, could you shut up, Devin? Could you shut up, Devin? Hey, Devin. Uh, oh, it's TCP. Man, Devin, what a what a punk, huh? All right, so we're just getting all these things in here and return here. Uh, return. Uh, nil, nil, you need to provide a port. Fantastic. Take this bad boy down. Uh, return, it couldn't create a server. Fantastic. Do all that. Awesome. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. So we have this nice little thing that I don't have to use anymore now, right? Uh, partial render. Let's add that one in here. Let's go like that. Uh, go. Quack. What? What do, you, what do you use, tough guy? What do you use, tough guy? Hey, thank you very much, Kevin. What do you use? Kevin likes Fortnite competition series, champion series. What do you like, Null? Let's hear it, huh? 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 I literally can't wait this long. No, I literally can't wait this long. What, what do you, what do you, I like Russ Lull. How long did that take you to type? You, your typing time is like Russ compiling time. Damn, get, get, get a better processor, dog. Get a better processor. Uh, testes, uh, create server from args. There we go. Um, server win error equals this. Actually, they like err. There we go. And do one of these and go in here and um, log dot uh, fatal. We need some fatals. There we go. Oh, come on. Destroyed. Wrecked. Yeah, okay, okay. I should have. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I was just being rough with you. I'm sorry. Okay, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, okay? We're a little rough around here. 
And don't cuck Devin. We're cucking Devin today, boys. D- today, uh, today we're cucking Devin. Should I j- should I let Copilot write all my code today in solidarity with Devin? Do you think that would be a good way to do it? Yeah. You know, just to like let Devin know that I'm here for him. I'm not liking this song. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. I agree. I agree. Chad just uh, is just a 600. Really? is a, Wow. Damn. Damn, I lost 400 of you people just switching over to code. Man, you guys love you guys love what I read. Remember what I used to say that you guys love it when I read and hate it when I program? And nobody believed me. Everyone's like, that's not true. Oh, that's not true. Oh, we, I, we just only want to see you guys program. There's no way. Love it when you yap. Okay, I like, I actually like to program, so you can't, you can't stop me. Would you rather yap or yip? I'm more of a yapper than a yipper, you know what I mean? I mean, fair. I mean, isn't that all? Isn't that all production problems? Shit, we didn't think that would happen. I mean, can you really? Bl- can, I mean, can you really blame them at all? All right. Uh, how do we do this? All right. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. Is it ticker? Is that what we do? And let's do. All right, so let's go like this. Let's hit one of these and then do a little select, right? By the way, select. This is such like a. Um, this is such like a. This is such like a screw you to to Rust. The fact that it just comes with it, just a ticker just comes, or a select just comes as a part of it. Oh man, I just love it. I just love it. I just love the fact that we got that. Dude, working with select in like Tokyo and macros and all that crap, it just makes me want to die. It just makes me want to, it just, I just hate it. Every time there's like a slight error in your macro code, it's like you lose everything. Can we agree to that? It's the worst. Select just allows you to have multiple. All right. That's enough of this crap. Um, select allows you to have multiple. Oh, no, I like macros. Don't get me wrong. Select allows you to have multiple things you're listening to at the same time, right? Sorry, I had to turn up the previous song so much to make it work. All right. We are listening to Gunther there for a second. Yeah, we had some gun. We had some Gunther. All right, so we're going to have a little tick. After we do this tick, I'm going to do. Uh, oh, damn. What is that? Uh, oh, we do need a welcome. We do need a welcome. We do need a welcome. We do need a uh, server dot uh, two sockets welcome um, window dot uh, open command dot win, right? Yeah. Yep, there we go. So we got we definitely need that. So that will send that will make sure that any sockets that connect will automatically open up a window for us, right? That's part of their welcome. And now that we have that, thank you, mouse only. That's so loud, mouse only. How are you, mouse only, watching a Vim stream? All right. So we're going to do a welcome message, force a window to be opened in Vim, and then every 500 milliseconds, we are going to update it with partial renders. Are you ready for the partial render thing of all time? I hope I hope you are. I hope you are. So what I'm going to do is I want to draw a little snake, a little snickety snake. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to draw a little snake. Maybe we'll just go around in circles. What is Vim? 
if you didn't gift subs and was a long-term subscriber, I'd kick you clean out. I'd ban your ass right now. Doozy, you got it. You got it. There we go. Slash ban. That's what we're talking about. You guys, you deserve it. Oh, dear. Yeah, no, oh, dear. Somebody hide your children. Um, okay, anyways. So we have two sockets. And so what I want to do is every single socket... Um, Every single socket here, I need to send out a spread command, which we'll do here in a second. So let's go like this. Let uh, our count equals a zero. There we go. Got him. Got him so good. Um, what's this one? Prime Clips. Yeah, that's that's my new YouTube channel. My U my new YouTube channel. I think it's fun. I like that one. Okay, so every single time we do this, we'll do a little count plus plus. Hey, thank you. Jake, I appreciate the sub. Let's go, Jake. Thank you for that. And you just started the hype train. You're like a little conductor on my hype train. Um, thoughts on equal sign versus that? I, I mean... Does it really matter? Right? Does it? Why the hell is there code? Does it really matter? It doesn't really bother me. Like, you do you do this to create a new variable. You do this to assign. Is that... I mean, you do this in JavaScript, right? Uh, is anything different? Ah, it doesn't bother me at all. It's all the same shit. Uh, I'd like it if I could get a little highlighter that would highlight this maybe a slightly different color so I see it. Like, keep it, like, as a keyword. I'd like a little keyword. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Huh? That'd be... Uh. Cool. All right. So now that we've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk my little snicky snake around here. Um, uh, uh, number uh, equals count divided by 10. Nice job. So now I need to take my coordinates and I want to like, I got to figure out how to walk it. Right. I got to figure out how to walk this son of a bitch. You know what I mean? Uh, so what I can do is I can go like this. Uh, row equals count 24. Hey, I like what you just did there, okay? But we're gonna do we're gonna use we're gonna use calls, okay? We're gonna use how many columns we have. That's what row we're in. Actually, that's what row we're in, you dummy. Okay, that's what row we're in. Call. See, look at this. Copilot's copilot's trying to bamboozle me right now. Did you see that? Copilot tried to bamboozle me. It tried to get me. It tried to lie to my face. Try to lie. I'm not programming Conway's Game of Life, though that would be a good idea. Conway's, you know what? Conway's Game of Life actually probably would have better, better way to do this. Damn, I should have thought about Conway's Game of Life. Damn. 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 That's a great idea. I like it. I like it. Primey, why me? What are you building? A uh, partial render system. Into, uh, into, uh, uh, damn it, do I have to build Conway's Game of Life? Let's just make sure that this works, okay? And then we'll try Conway's Game of Life, okay? Let's just make sure that this works. Let's get a test case, and then we'll do Conway's Game of Life. Does that sound good? Uh, here, we're gonna go like this. I'll change my title. Uh, server rendered Conway's Game of Life in NeoVim. Tell me that's not pretty cool. Tell me that's not pretty cool. Devin would have already had this done by now. Devin can lick... Devin can... F fuck off. Okay, that's what I have to say. Okay, there we go. Guess when I was talking about uh, Devin. Guess when I was talking about Devin. People love that Devin talk. Damn. Alright, anyways. What exactly can he lick? I couldn't pick it up. I'm not, not doing, we're not doing this. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go like this. When, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, oh no, no! Um, can I just go like this? A uh, number, can I just take a number? How do I, how do I turn this into a, okay. Uh, t number to rune. Is what the hell's the thing? I I know how to do this in C. How do I do this? Nice job, Devin. How do I do this in Copi? Uh, how uh, I A? Fair, fine, fair, fine. Um, num equals uh. Here we can go like this. You're you're probably right. You're probably right. Um. Uh, Numster equals what the hell is it? It's gonna be uh, strings dot i uh, to a number, right? 
Wait, isn't strings the name of the, the effing module? And I to A? Wait, is it not I to A? I, do they not have I to A? Oh, I guess I don't need... What, what am I doing? I don't need to do that. I can just go like this. String, right? Can I just do that in... In this? No? No? Is there a dot... Is there... How do you just make it into a string? Do I just go like this? How do I make it? Oh, stir convert. Dude, I'm so stupid. Okay, you're probably right here. Let's just... My guess is there's like an error here, potentially. Uh, dude, th this is one of those things where I just... Let's see. Uh, I to A. Yeah, yeah, I to A. Oh, nice. I can just do it there, then. Hey. Thank you. Hey, first off... First off, hey, thank you. Jean Reyes, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Let's go. A a string into two string. <laughs> sprint F. Oh, dang it. Sprint F is probably the way. Why isn't this do it? Oh, it's because it's a value of a rune. Do I really want an effing rune? I do, I do use a rune. How do I take a string and just get an effing... Just give me the... Just why is there code? Okay, this is the part of Go that I'm still kind of... I still kind of suck at, okay? I still kind of suck at, okay? Um, okay, so this is the num string. Okay, so I have the num string. This is the num string. So now I need a num rune. Can I not just call it? Can I not just cast it as a rune? Can I do a zero? That's a bite. Damn. Okay, so that's a bite. Is there a damn? How, how do I just make a rune out of a single? What what is it? Uh, create rune from a string. Is it, is it because I'm supposed to go like this? Is it because I'm supposed to do something like that? That can't... Dude, I have to be doing that wrong. That, 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 can't, that can't be it. Right? Based RuneScape Prime? That can't be it. A rune, a rune effectively is like a... Uh, I, I'm going to make sure that this thing contains all the good stuff. You know what I mean? This is, instead of just being the bite, which may not be correct, right? Because the first character of a string may not just be an ASCII character. It could be anything. So it's like, what's the first thing in a string? Well, maybe it's a UTF-8 character that contains 32 bits of information. You know what I mean? It could be slash zero. It could be, wait, what? Yeah. It's a UTF-8 character. Rune trim gold. I don't see no trim in here, dog. Where did you just get that from? Okay, I'm just going to pretend that I've done this correct. Okay, I'm going to pretend that I've done this correct. And that's that. Okay? Okay. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go like this. Um, uh, renders equals win.flush uh, for uh, commands equals uh, TC, let's see, uh, TCP, uh, TCP. Oh, I don't like this song at all. I don't like intense songs like this because I find them. Oh, I have to do some sort of like make, don't I? Can I? Can I just? Is is this fine replacement for make? Is there a reason to use make? Is there a fine reason to do make? I I don't know when one would do when one would do make versus not make. I think this is probably me being really bad at stuff, right? Right. To set capacity, okay, pre-allocating size, okay, okay. So that's perfectly fine. And then I can give myself a render, which is a uh, render change. And then I can go uh, commands append. Okay, that's just like, it's, it's generally incorrect. Uh, render dot uh, command, right? Yeah, there we go. Does that make sense? Devin, Devi, Devin. Oh my goodness, we got another Devin in here. We got ourselves another Devin. Hey, thank you, Devin da uh, Damonster. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I think there's something else in here. Thank you, Knox. Hello from Brazil. Well, hello to you too. Undefined. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Only really need make for channels and maps unless you want a slice length. Why would you want a... Um, why do you have to use make for a map? I get it for a channel because I think channels are the only thing that you need it for, right? All right. You told me to make everything a pointer, and now I got an effing pointer of a, I got an array of pointers, okay? 
You can uh, specify the length, more important the capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do a do a channel. Yeah, like this requires, yeah, it has type P. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's chan int. Okay. So you don't, uh, so you don't access and set nil, dude. Everyone kept telling me I should be using everything as pointers. Devin, 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 and I, I don't know. And now I don't like this. Gustavo Dapper. See, I'm not, I'm not great at Go. I've never claimed my, my greatness at Go. Um, and then go for. Actually, we don't even need to do that. What am I doing? I can just jump in here and go like this and this and go. Um, yeah. And go command equals that. Uh, actually, we can just take that whole thing and put it right here. Did someone just. Uh, subscribe to me again well thank you right i think that should work right what is spread spread takes gosh everything's taking this ah i have pointers and i how the f can you be so fast uh doing something for a long time Pointer looks cool, not going to lie. Okay, interesting take. Thank you, Gustavo. Appreciate that. On a scale of 1 to 10, how anxious are you that Devin has been released? Uh, literally zero. Not, not even a 1. I am negative 1. Scared. I'm negative 1. All right, so there we go. We have this. This is probably going to break something else. So there we go. So this should do it. So I should be effectively send out a partial render over and over and over again. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Every half second. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's now create the, the Lua side of things. Okay, all right. Uh, what is it? I think it's right here. So let's see. We have to, yeah, we have to go in our app. And we don't have a partial render yet, right? I, I only have this thing right here. So a partial render, what does it contain again? A partial render is kind of funny, right? Uh, what, what do I have in here? Uh, let's go like this. A partial render is going to be this thing. So this is effectively what it is, is it's going to be row column value. So I need to go in here and I need to go, uh, let's see. Is there any, uh, let's see, parse, parse, uh, let's see, window parse data command. Oh, I do like that. I'm going to keep this up inside the window business because this is all kind of like window business. And I'm going to have parse partial uh, partial render. And it's going to be here. And we're going to do this. And we're going to go uh, row call value. Um, how, how, how do we want to do this? This is not very good. There we go. Did that thing. Did that thing. And then we're going to go like this. Here we go. We're going to go like this. Slash one. Slash two. Equals slash two. Bam. Wait, slash two is not supposed to have that. Damn. Anyways, whatever. Close enough. That whole... Greedy business. Uh, is there like a slash word? Uh, see, I hate greedy. I hate, I hate greedy. I, I, I never know how to do uh, greedies, right? I suck. I suck at. I suck at greedy stuff, right? I don't know. I, I don't know why I suck at it so bad. I'm sure there's a way to do this better, but I ain't that guy. Like I, I, I I'm not that guy. What is plus one or more? Uh, purple moist duck. Thank you for that. I appreciate that purple moist duck. Regular expressions would have solved this. Yeah. If I was Devin, I would have done that. Human software engineer. Good night. Hey, thank you. You good night yourself. I know, I know you guys are horned up about what I'm actually pressing. So there you go. Uh, partial render. There you go. Uh, local. Actually, I mean, do we? Yeah, I guess whatever. Uh, local uh, partial equal uh, partial equals uh, string that. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, assert. Uh, do what, let's do an assert. Remember, we're, we're really trying to. We're really trying to be very serious about asserts. Devin told me he would work for the highest bidder. Well, Devin is probably 
correct on that. Okay. Uh, is this in Rust? It's in Going. All right. Uh, row does not equal nil. There we go. By the way, by, uh, BT, wait, wait, what the hell? Dude, there's so many, dude, there's so much purple pop-ups here. Uh, Devin said he'll build your apps if you teach him how to solve a CAPTCHA. Not going to do it. Bro, please. What's the track name? Uh, that was Kirby Spiritual. Pointers to Alec uh, to Heap. Uh, so use only where needed. The pointers Alec to Heap. Yeah. Well, that's not 100% true. There's like reasons and, and locations in which they don't actually. I know. Dude, I do. I, I obsessively do do that. But there's there's reasons why people do and don't do those things. Um, and they, they don't always land on the heap. Go heap versus stack is kind of different. Yeah, it's not, it's not as straightforward as simply, I don't know the rules. Are you editing this on Windows? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Okay. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I'm actually pretty offended by that. Okay. All right, so we got our partial. Um, now that we have that, we're going to go like this. We need to update. We need to go self dot cash. Uh, ooh, I love that. I love. Ooh, yeah. Let's have. Let's definitely go cash. There we go. Let's definitely get one of these bad boys and jump in here. And we have a from string or two strings. We have a from. We do have a set. I believe from string. Do we have a set? Can we set a single one? Oh, we have place. That's right. We do have place. So I can literally go like this. Place. Ooh. Actually, let's jump in here and let's yap this and go. Uh. I think I can just do this. Uh, yeah, that that's that's better. Back E S um, partial uh, partial render. Yep, uh, partial. There we go. And that means I should be able to drop all of this and go um, self dot place partial. There we go. Just make a nice little. Try to make it a little bit nicer to use. Partial. There we go. Uh, partial. There we go. So that should be it. All I have to do, parse out the TCP command, place the location, and that's that. Are you ready? Pretty straightforward, right? Okay. So, and there you go. There's our server. So that means I should theoretically be able to go go run, um, is it test? Yeah. I should be able to just run the partial server, cannot use command, type variable TCP, TCP, TCP. Uh, uh, all right, let's go like that. Okay, you need, a, you need to provide port. Okay. Uh, port 42069. Do you see what just happened here, people? You see this? You see this? Let's quit this thing just in case. Dude, just let me quit. I'm literally doing quit. Quit with a bang. All right. Uh, there we go. Sometimes you got to quit with a bang. You know what I mean? All right. So let's go here. And I should be able to just shout this out. And if I've done this correctly, when I say start, it will connect here, open up a window, and start partially rendering. I'm nervous. I didn't do it. Window already opened. Well, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. Oh, look at this, unhandled command. Oh, it's a P. It's a P. I'm a P. A P. Gosh, I was so wrong. I was so wrong. It's not P R. It's P for partial render. P unhandled command. Gosh. Gosh. Ugh. Okay. 
I do got to figure out what the hell went wrong here, right? All right, so I see that I am I'm not rendering right now. I'm not rendering right now, and this is this is wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I forgot to do this. Which I also need to make it so okay, hold on. Uh to do. Uh create it so that um uh, so let's see. Create it so that I only uh, get back partial row updates, right? I almost need like uh let's see. Consider some sort of uh debounce here too, right? So I should only update this on a partial render every now and then because if I don't, you could imagine that this thing will go, you know, it'll just be render, 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 render for every single thing and you don't want to do that, right? But for now, we'll, we'll call that good, right? All right. What is a debounce? A debounce means that I don't just like go wild on it, right? Yeah, we don't want it to go burr, right? Okay, well, that, somehow I just did it even worse. Did I not Okay, server's still going good. Where's my window? Where's my window? Oh, I need a, here, uh, function, print, command, uh, print, command. We need to figure out what what's going on here. Data, yeah, let's just do that. And we can go print, command, data. There we go. We'll have this nice little thing in here just in case. I should probably add some sort of debugging version of this. Really, what I should do is add a log. Right, a nice log would tell you what's happening. Right, I should probably add a log. Shout out, Lua. Okay, so I'm not even getting anything. Is my, did I break my server? Maybe my server sucks. Maybe my server could only handle it sucking that many times. Yeah, see, look at that, command open window. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, so apparently my Go server, apparently my Go server sucks. Okay, apparently my Go server sucks. Okay. Uh, partial renders are zero based. So this is one of those things that are super annoying. Let's do an elixir. Now, F, F U, F U, F that, okay? When I parse, the problem about it is that the server is zero based. The client's rows are one based. The columns are zero based, if I'm not mistaken. I really should just wrap this whole thing in some sort of, like something that makes sense. Okay, I gotta fix that. Okay, so why am I not getting any more commands? Why did I get an unhandled command zero? Oh, it is updating, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Are we getting more than one welcome message? What the hell's happening there? Are we getting more than one welcome message? See, like, how is command? How is this an unhandled command? Oh my goodness! I'm so stupid. First off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add you. You're supposed to. I'm supposed to return after this, right? I'm saying, hey, we've we've handled it, right? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I should probably just put this in an else, honestly. And then I can just drop all these returns because I, you know, I've never been a big fan of returns. You know what I mean? I just don't. Also, I don't like. I don't like else's. You know what I mean? I just don't. All right. So now we have this thing. Holy, uh, holy if blocks. I'm a little bit worried about this. All right. So we'll just go like that for now. We'll go like that for now because I'm wondering if anything, any of these printings and all this blocks threads and stuff like that. Uh, Switch statement time. I don't think a switch statement makes this any like I, I switch statements. 
First off, switch statement should be for static value switching. Uh, second off, which this pretty much is all static value switching. But third off, or second off, switch statements does not make this any easier. How is else if different than case? Okay, like I could abstract this and make it so that we have ways in which we call a function to see should it be should it do that right uh, looks cleaner I don't think it, I, I literally don't think it looks uh, cleaner at all I think it's it's all it's all the, it's all the same crap to me okay now we could make some sort of map we could make some sort of thing that I, we could make some sort of handler right we could make some sort of object right like real talk we could make some sort of object that has a uh, has like a filter or something like that that's like command uh, com uh, that's like gonna be app and command and then you could have uh, handle I don't know uh, app command data and then I could be like if it filters then it handles and then that's that and we could go through all of them right we could do something like that that's like a real option there that's a much better or much cleaner way to handle things but then you also have a bunch of indirection right now I have no indirection right I have no indirection it's just right here is it great is it easy no but it's also non-direct okay it's one of these things i just genuinely just uh, what i'm here in english <laughs> pick have you just been adopting have you been adopting just the the tej mentality so hard right now you know what i mean i don't think let's see the thing is is that i prefer maps over chained ifs the problem with your approach is that by the very nature of your approach you've also created a level of indirection I'm not a huge fan of just adding indirection for the sake of me being happy. Okay, I add indirection when when I think it's really needed. You don't know what indirection is? For me to execute something, I have to call functions to go get it. Right? And for me to look at the code that's being executed, I have to go follow. I have to go use like a, a your LSP to go follow it. Follow it. Indirection means abstraction. In some sense, it's an abstraction. No abstraction, masturbation, boo. Right, like I, I really have to make sure that I see the reason that we do it, right? Prime turns into a seagull. That's just rude. I'm not a seagull. Okay, yeah, sometimes just being able to see where the code branches your face is all you need. Yeah, genuinely, L take really hit me with why. See, the problem is, is I can inverse your take and say that when you abstract everything and everything is a, a, an indirection, you constantly have to be jumping through things. And when you have something that indirects on top of an indirection, the amount of things you have to hold in your head is difficult. If you think holding this in your head is difficult, I, I would say that maybe you suffered a brain injury as a child. There's not a lot here, okay? There's not, there's like nothing here. This is pretty simple to parse through. There's only five issues here. We have five commands we're handling. Do we really need some sort of ultimate end goal abstraction to be able to handle every possible case? Maybe we don't. Maybe we just don't need all that. And it's just like, yo, are you one of these five? We handle one of these fives. And if not, I'll let you handle it. Like it still fits on my screen easily. Anyways, I try to write dumb code, okay? I try to write dumb code. Fuck, the burn got me too, sorry. Sorry about that. I try to I try to write dumb code until I need smarter code. Because you know what? You know it's really hard to you know it's really hard about writing code that is more uh, able to handle a lot of things. Ab refactoring code that's able to handle a lot of things. That becomes difficult. It becomes really 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 difficult. And so I try to be very very careful. Of course, of course you're going to get it. You're going to get a giga chat. You're going to get it no matter what. Right? You're going to refactoring the code. You really just refactor it. Like I'm just trying not to go there too quick, right? I'm right about at my limit where I don't want this to go much bigger. If I have to add one or two more commands, I'll try to think of something a bit more clever. But as of right now, it's an eye shot. I have the entirety of our app switch stuff right here. Uh, debugging code is 10 times harder uh, than writing it. So if you write it clever, you also have to debug clever. Yeah. Right. Laying abstractions for no reason is, uh, is for the architecture astronaut. And I wouldn't really call this much of an architecture astronaut. I just think that I would be overdoing it. 
You know what I mean? Like real talk, if I were to create that thing, if I were to do that whole local, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's it called process or equals this uh, and then do processor equals that and then do function uh, new uh, Processor new and do one of these and jump it up in here and go class processor and go field uh, f oh, Crap, we don't even need that jump in here and have function uh, processor Process yep, that's right and then we have function uh, oh, actually we need one more thing app right in here and then we also have processor right here and go filter let's just call it filter with app and command and then guess what you could imagine that i'd have to then you know return true whatever it's going to be right we build all these things you could you could obviously see how this thing works right we could have ourselves a little uh we could actually provide the filter and the process and and then go return that and then jump up here and add the fields right uh, uh, field uh filter make it happen filter write that thing nice okay nice awesome we got it nailed it first try first thing bam bam there we go and then we could replace each one of these with the filter where i can go like this if you know i could do a little little four uh fill you know process or equals pairs whatever it's called right you get the idea like i could do all that we're practically there like i'm look at this look at that we're there look at it look at it look at it oh! One day we'll share a nice good old fashioned sword fight pee. One day. One day. That day might not be today. I know, poor Devin. Uh, how to use Copilot co the right way? I'm trying to use Copilot the right way, but then I have to go find how each one of these things are done. And then if I want to make a change or anything, I have to go all over the place, okay? I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that yet, okay? I don't want to do all that yet. There you go. Now you know why I don't do that. All right, so what the hell have I done wrong here? My worry is that A, here, let's let's start, let's go back here, and I'm gonna like this. Um, let's go uh, format uh, dot print uh, F, uh, and let's go plus V, right? There we go. Just, just just, how I do things, okay? Isn't hesitating about abstraction because a future change is also a pitfall? It's less of a pitfall, it's easier to abstract. It's always easier to go, it's, it's every single time it's easier to abstract. 100% of the time it's easier to abstract. It is much harder to change your abstraction than it is to abstract. And yeah, it's of course, every, by the way, everything's a pitfall. Like real talk, everything's a pitfall. Everything has its trade-offs. I just think it's easier to abstract than I think it is, uh, oh, than it is to do the other way around, right? Error on copy pasta until you know your do domain well. That's how I like to do it, right? That's that's just. I mean, honestly, I just think that it's it's much easier to get things right later on. Ooh, look at that thing go. Interesting. Why is it running? I, I, is there like an error here that I don't know about? Okay, so why is it running? Oh, it's running because it just runs. That's right. That's right. This son of a bitch is right. All right, so if I go like this, if I jump in here, I mean, abstracting is always easier is not exactly true. I've seen some code bases. Um, yeah, I'd say it's still, I'd still say it's a significant... Fair. Premature optimization and premature abstraction may actually even be the same thing. All right. Um, anyways, I'm not sure if I'd like, the problem is, is I don't know if this happened. Like, what percentage are we talking about? Like, right? Like, the problem is, is this. That's a terrible normal distribution. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I hit my coffee cup, but you get the idea. Somewhere in here, this is, oh, my, ugh. stop. I don't want a curve. There we go. All right. This is easy, this is hard. At what point is not abstracting, does this happen? Most of the time, you can live somewhere right in here. It's pretty easy, it's whatever. But at some point, it becomes harder and harder to abstract once you left, let it go. I would argue that most people try to abstract here. 
They don't abstract over here. Abstract over here. Wait until there's a real pain before you abstract. Once you hit real pain, then you know. Then you know. And so I just wait for the pain. Right now, I would genuinely argue, and everyone's pain is a little bit different too, which I think makes it hard. Uh, did I just switch back to QWERTY? I did. Uh, and I'd argue everyone's pain is a little bit different. Undefined global app. What did I just do? There we go. All right. Like this right now, I have made no assumptions yet about what I want. All right. All right, so I'm still sending things. All right. So I'm going to shout this out, and I'm going to Lua start, which should send... See, I wonder why that is. Something is not being updated here. Because I know it's... What's breaking down? What's breaking down? Server clock out? I don't think the server clock's out because the server clock is... The server clock is just a ticker. It just goes on ad infinitum. Something quits running. Por qué Maria? So this is what we're going to do. Let's go like this. Let's go format, uh, print. Let's just do this, and then. Let's just make sure that this, this happens correctly, right? Am I actually, where am I actually freezing on, right? Because I find it pretty, pretty uh, inconceivable, right? There we go. I hit an assert. Okay, so this time I hit an assert. And then we stopped here. Okay, so I hit an assert, and then it stopped. My guess is that this thing is stuck doing something. Something else has happened. Something else has happened. Since I don't know Go, I know I've messed this up in Go. Lua is no longer, so my, this is my guess is what's happening. Something has gone wrong with Lua. It has trashed the connection. The connection stopped working. That means likely whatever I'm doing is also trashed on the other side, but it's not being removed. And something is f effectively saying, hey, we can't send anymore on the other side. That's, that's my guess, right? My guess is that Go has pooped its pants because it's unable to do it. Try UDP. So that's my guesses. That's my guesses. It's always DNS. This would not actually be DNS in this case. That's my guess, is that we, we did have an error. So first, let's go like this. Let's, let's fix the client-side error, because this one's very obvious. So this one's kind of interesting, because we get this uh, 91. So let's start with that one, because I know that one's not right. 91. One thing I really wish I would have kept is this print command. Let me just print the commands. I really need to create a log of where things are happening. 
that would really be a little bit nicer right now. So there's that thing. And then where's the other one? The other one, there's one more one. So I'm, I, I got to figure that one out. My guess is, okay, so there's this one. That was that one. Then there was also uh, cash 41. X must be greater or equal to one. I thought that was impossible. I thought that was impossible uh, because I do a a set, and during a set, I go through and ooh, I didn't set it, did I? I thought I did this. Did I not do that? See, the problem is, oh man, see that sucks. Okay, so I feel like this is this is this is where you'd want to make an abstraction from. Can we all agree that this is probably where you want to make an abstraction at? That seems like such an easy one to screw up. Actually, no, we don't want it here. We don't want it here. We don't want that here. It should be in window Lua, right? It really should be in window Lua. Hey, thank you very much, uh, X Terran. Appreciate that. So there you go. So why is that one not that one? That one. Right, I put it on, on that one because it requires a one base one. So let's go like this. Let's go print partial render with this one. All right. And so I'll just know. <sighs> let's do it. Let's do it here. Uh, print uh, partial vim that one. There we go. And then. For the server, let's go over here, and my guess is that since we're we're breaking down here, my guess is it's this, right? The listener got closed, right? Listener got closed, right? Is that is that it? Listeners get closed. And where do we listen to these things? Where do, where do I do the listening? Dang it, where's where's my listening? Command from bytes. We don't do that one. There it is. All right. That's where that's where we do it. So we're going to close her out. Okay, we need to close her out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, where's my remove? Where's my where's my remove? Hmm. 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 Okay, so here's our commands. I guess we don't need to do that one. See, I do do this one. I remove listener to TCP. See if it crashes. So that's my guess is this is what's happening. Defer here. Can I go like this? Is this something I can do? Can I go like this? Um, def uh, let's see. Can I go like this? Uh, connection has broken or a connection has closed. Is that like a thing I can do? Right? Is that like a thing I can do? Can't lie, those numbers don't, uh, don't, don't love give me the willies, right? TCP dump sniffing when? We don't need to get to that point. This is not the problem. My guess is, my problem is that I'm, I, my, my, because we're dying on spread, right? Which means that, which means my guess is we're dying right here, right? This thing is dead, right? So when I go, uh, uh, let's see if I go uh, format uh, println sending command to listener uh, I I oh my goodness I, I am leaning way too far back that makes me so uncomfortable ah that was weird there we go Straightforward, right? Straightforward, straightforward. So that's what I'd consider nice, straightforward logging. There we go. Print after debugging can't save you now. Why can't it? Why can it not save me? Go to Vim communication. Yeah, we're on go to Vim communication. All right, so how how did that happen? I still am so curious how I got, how is this thing open? Am I not doing this thing correctly? There we go. wonder where that X is. 
Okay, so there's definitely an X problem here. All right, so this thing has to be, let's see. So there you go. So that's the problem. The command listener has definitely failed. Now, at any point, did I get a, um, see, there, there it is. So it doesn't look like, does connection ever get closed? Does connection ever get closed? How, is there a way to tell? Let's see. Uh, uh, check to see if um, if channel is closed. Go link. Is there like a is is? Yeah, no, no. This, yeah, this one. Channels. I've, I've, I've always agreed that channels need channels need a revamp on this one specific point. Okay. So, quick, uh, quick question. Top Google hit is LinkedIn. We're cooking now. Uh, yeah, we are. Um, so, with this, quick question. Does it require a value to be on there? Does it require a value to be on here? What happens if it's open and there's no value? Does it just hang waiting for a value? It'll block. Yeah. So how do you do a not blocking check? Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. So I should probably stop calling these things testies, right? I should probably quit calling them testies. And call it something else. A funk. Um, you're telling me channel closed is going to be something like this, where I'm going to have ah oh, crap. Is there a way to do it like a generic channel? Probably not, huh? There's not a way to do a generic channel, is there? Or can you? I forget how to do. I forget how to do generics. Can I do that? Is that is that how you do a generic channel? I'm, hey, by the way, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Uh, Ariza. Ariza, I appreciate that. Oh, shit. Sorry for the link. What link? Oh, don't care about that. I don't care about that. I, I mean, one millisecond? I mean, d does it really matter? Dude, I hate this check. Um, Nothing to rename. What do you mean, nothing to rename? I'm looking at it. Oh, crap. Do you have to go like that? Yeah. It's closed, isn't it? It's closed, right? Is that how you would do that? Is this effectively what you would do? This can't be the best way. Damn it, you would consume value. Dang it. Dang it, you're right. You would consume values. Just a non-blocking read and check for close there. How do you do a non-blocking read? LOL, the fact that I know this is the this is the this is the true downfall to go. Is 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 this I know there's a better way to handle this. Somebody has to have, let's see.
In a hacky way, it can be done uh, for channels uh, which one, at let's see, attempts to write by recovering a raised panic. But you cannot check if a read channel is closed without reading from it. Either you will eventually read true, yep, or you read true, yep, yeah, 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 yeah,
right? Like the connection never gets closed. That's, I, I guess that's the part that's confusing me is that I never call close anywhere on this thing, right? Like, uh, I should probably call close, right? I don't actually close anything because like I need to call close, right? Close to TCP, right? That would be the appropriate way to do this, right? Oh, this is a receive only channel. Is it? Did I really? Oh yeah, I guess I do return a receive only channel, huh? Yeah, receive only channel. Like I'm a genius here. It's two TCP. So I literally, I create this channel, add it to the list, and then I go into the go funk and we do all this. I mean, I guess I could take these two things. Do I re do I return anything else out? I don't return anything else out. I mean, I guess I could instantiate them in here, and then I remove it upon close, right? Upon close of this channel, we remove it. Connection upon connection upon starting gets closed. And here's my like, hey, connection has been closed, right? Go funk yourself. I'm doing good. So there you go. Devin is watching the stream? I don't think so. Idea, context with cancel. That's That might be... I know, but I, my curiosity is how is this thing being closed? Because, I, I mean, as you can see, there's nothing technically in here that's closing it, right? There's nothing in here that actually closes the thing. So why is it, why is it hanging on this thing? Why is it hanging on the writing? Right, because right now it's actually hanging right wherever that thing is, uh, format.print. It's hanging right here, right? You can see it hanging right there. Send command to listener, position zero. So does that, there is, there is a listener. There is a listener, right? The listener is right here. It's always polling. Defer C close, that closes the actual connection, right? I'm listening, go on. Ooh, I wonder if it's this. No, because I would have seen that, right? Notice that none of these things had that, right? There we go, so here's the moment we get the commands. Notice that nothing changes. Yeah, there's no changes, there's no changes. Are you feeding it too fast? No, I'm feeding it every half second. One one message per half second, and then I'm literally pull I'm literally listening at all points. Right? I'm listening at all points. And I'm receiving no commands in, right? There's no there's no from TCPs. Right? I should probably rename commands, honestly. It would be from TCP. Right? Is the problem that you're not handling the case where the client closes the connection and goes trying to write to a close connection? That's what I think is happening. I think that is happening. That's my guess. Is that somehow the connection is being closed. Is there a way to tell if a connection has been closed? Right? Close method, uh, close function error. Uh, is there like a, is there like an open, is there something in here? Con has context. Really, there's no way to tell? Oh, damn. That can't be true. Read, write, oh yeah, you're right. Local address, read, write, close. Huh, damn, damn. Okay. Because I create a new, uh, I create a new listen, which just returns out a net. Uh, it's a net listener. Okay, so a net listener is a little bit different than a con, right? A net listener is a little bit different than a con. Or I mean, I guess this is a con. Oh yeah, we, we never mind. We're not a net listener. We're accepting the con, right? This is net.con. So you actually have no idea when this thing. I must be missing something that I don't understand here, right? It's obviously, people handle this. Let's see. Uh, how to check? Let's see. What is the can canonical go way to handle uh, connection? Let's see. 
net.con being uh, closed. There has to be a way to do this. Canonical, right? Yeah, I, I know it requires careful programming. I'm not doing that, especially since operations on a closed connection can lead to panics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most common way for .NET to be closed is through air handling. I wonder if I'm not handling it here. I wonder if I'm not handling it right here. Hold on. That's actually a good, good, good call. For fun, let's go like this. Let's try that, okay? Yeah. That could that could be it. So we'll run this. There we go. And I'm going to close down this thing. I'm going to reopen up this thing. Go here. Are you a dick guy? Hell yeah, brother. All right. It is sending, but there's something else going on here. Because notice that the client is no longer receiving anything, right? But I, I didn't receive any messages here that says, hey, the channel is closed. The channel is not closed. Right? Like, the channel is not closed right here. Right? The channel is just not closed. Right? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if there's something going on here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wonder if I... No, that can't be it either. That can't be it. It just doesn't make any sense. It, 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 it literally doesn't make any sense. What could this be... This is where my this is where my 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 go knowledge is. It's just like so s small, so small. I don't even know what I'm looking. I don't even like because I figured it'd be something like this, right? We try to read and we can't read, but we're definitely not having a problem with the read. I don't think the channel's closed. Have you tried restarting? Let's see. Do what you let's see. You do not want a default case in your select statement. I'm not sure why I'd have a default case. There's only two cases I need to handle. What the hell's a default case? There's select statements. I'm selecting from two channels. PC Unplugged, have you tried reinstalling Windows? I haven't tried any of those ideas. All of those are really good. Default makes it not blocking. Default makes it very confusing. Let's see. Do you have a default uh, case in your select? It, uh, it blocks without... That's not the problem. This is not... Okay, so... This is always the problem about Twitch debugging is that you guys sometimes don't know where the bug's at. Um, okay, so here's where it, it, it gets stuck. It gets stuck where I try to write a command to this listener. Now... It's blocking there. Yes, it, it's blocking in your opinion. No, it's not in your opinion. It's, 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 it's fact. There's no opinions here. It's blocking. So here's what I see. Are you guys ready for what I see? I want you to, did you, did you notice anything that happened while we were doing this? Did anyone notice what happened? Well, if you were paying attention, you will notice that the window froze and no updates were made to the window. Okay, no updates were made to the window. But we kept sending commands. And then sometime later, it stopped. It froze right here. You know what I see? I see this right here. I see that we have a size 10 buffer. 
That means how much do you want to bet that when it froze, we sent out maybe about 10 more attempts to write things out, and then it stopped and it became full. Okay, so that means who is doing the listening here? Okay, so the thing that is listening must be the one that, well, is, is doing the freezing, right? So my guess is something here is not quite, wait, hold on. Something here is not quite doing the thing I want it to do. Right? This is the one that's not doing what I want it to do. You're not handling the read to free up the buffer? You're not handling the read? I am reading, right? So this right here, the from TCP, from TCP is the stuff from the line. Okay, so it, dang it, it's this right here. This is the line that I'm looking for. I was on the wrong line. I was on the wrong line. It's this one, two TCP, right? This one just sits here and reads. I think, did I get that correct? Dang it, now, now, now I don't even know if I got this correct anymore. I think I have some bad names in here as well. We may have to kind of figure out my naming scheme here because I'm not really a big fan of this because I had to do a spread, right? I had to do a spread here, and that's like the thing that really is very frustrating is the spread, right? So we have from sockets, and then two sockets. So we got to go to the socket. So this would be this thing. And you'll notice, uh, where, where is that thing? It's a uh, partial render this guy. We have two sockets spread, right? So all the sockets out to everything. We go out and try to shoot everything out there. Outs, of course, are going to be how we create uh, all the listeners, right? We create a listener. We add it to the outs. Okay. And then to listen to these, Every single connection that comes in way down yonder has this line right here that just listens and writes. Now, notice that we don't get any errors. So let's go like this. Uh, waiting for command, right? Uh, done waiting for command, right? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So my guess is that the thing is, I wanted to kind of narrow where we're, where we're freezing on, right? And it, okay, there we go. So hold on, wait for it. There we go. So it stopped on the two, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's going to stop on a two. There we go. Stopped on the three. Did I not put it in the right spot? So we, we I mean, we saw, okay, so we, we know what's happening at this point. Yeah, so where's my waiting for command? Did I not reset my server? Did I not reset my, I didn't reset my server, did I? Did I not reset my server? I thought I did. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Waiting for command, done waiting for command. Waiting for command, and then it never sends again. What? What? Hey, thank you very much, Inside Sources. I appreciate that, and I hate JVM. Thank you. Add a default to the select. Why am I adding a default to the select? It's blocking on the first channel. It is blocking on the first channel. I mean, isn't that the point? Isn't this the point? Is that we're, it's not blocking on the first channel. Both of these channels are doing nothing. I'm receiving nothing and I'm also sending nothing. Why is this thing not sending something? Because we're clearly writing to that, we're writing to that channel. Man, I have no idea how that works. We're clearly writing to that channel. Yeah, we're, we're, we're writing from that channel and we're reading from that channel. Command.bytes, that's just me grabbing the bytes out of the command. Remember, this is a TCP command right here. Oopsies. It's a TCP command. You could have a default. Let's see. You could just have default just crap out something to see if there's an edge case. 
Yeah, but if I do that, it's just gonna print so fast and so wild, it's, it's gonna be hard for me to know, right? Here, I'll go like this. Um, here, fine, I'll go like this. Uh, uh, timer equals time dot. Oh my gosh, I gotta, dude, I really need my ball back. New ticker. Uh, there we go. For you guys. This should effectively never happen, right? This should never happen. Uh, does default stop the? I I I don't want I don't want this to. There we go. Yeah, yeah. This should this should effectively do that. All right, there we go. We're gonna reopen that thing. Jump here. We're gonna disable that one. Do that. Jump here. Shout Lua. Start. Okay. I hear you. Wait for this thing to die. It died. It's so dead. So it's going to be at the zero again. There we go. It's at the zero. Why isn't it hitting my ticker? Why isn't it hitting the tick? Skill issues? Deadlock? There's a loop somewhere wildly spinning. I don't believe you. There's no loop spinning. We have no loop spinning. I don't have a read right. I don't have a read. I don't have any of those locks in here to make it problem. The only locks I have are when I add a new listener. We're not adding any new listeners, or when I'm removing any listeners. We're not removing any listeners, right? This is just not something that's happening, right? We can even put something in here just to make everybody happy about that. Oopsies. Hey, come on. All right. Hey, thank you, full aces. I appreciate that. Okay. All right, so we have those two, man. So those are just not it, right? Right, so let's see. We're not getting a read problem. That's just not happening. But we're, we're literally getting stuck. We're not getting this. I wonder if I should see, because see, this is running in its own little, this is running in its own little go funk. So it's not like it, it shouldn't be getting blocked by anything. The only thing that I could possibly be getting blocked by would be this, but I'm not getting anything from nothing. I'm not receiving anything from the, the client, right? Like this line should just never execute, right? Is it? Is it? Am I telling the truth? Am I hitting some sort of error case? Am I lying to myself? Am I lying to myself? I could be lying to myself. You know, this wouldn't be the first time I've lied to myself. I just want you to know that. I have li I've lied to myself before. Okay, so it should stop at the seven. Okay. Okay, there's a tick. Notice that we're getting some ticks in here. We're getting some ticks. The ticks do stop. And what did I call the leaving thing? I should have... I am done with this shit. Okay, so... Okay, that did. I, we did not leave the loop. We in fact did not leave the loop. We in fact have not left the loops. Okay, so I wasn't crazy. We haven't. You're in one of the two other areas. We're not. All right. 
I will, I will, I will concede that I might be in another area, though I should not be in another area. I can, I can concede that, though I don't think that's true. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think. I mean, I guess you know that. That I mean, it's fair. I should, I should never doubt the stupidity of myself. It's a very, it's a very. It's a very simple thing not to do, is to doubt your own stupidity. Received command from client, render. Interesting, I am sending, okay, so I should have doubted, I should not have doubted my own stupidity. I am sending something up. I actually am sending something up. Okay, so must have been something from my old application that I forgot about. Okay, I doubted my stupidity. I did doubt my stupidity. I did actually doubt it. I literally doubted my own stupidity. So now let's find out. I know what happened. Oh my goodness, I know what happened. I am so stupid. Oh my goodness, I am so stupid. Oh my goodness, I am so stupid. Oh my goodness, I am so stupid. This is, I cannot believe I've been chasing this bug and I am so stupid. Dude, I should, I cannot believe I doubted my own stupidity. I cannot believe I didn't doubt my own stupidity this whole time. I swear it had to be anything but my own stupidity, and it was my own stupidity. Oh, my goodness. You want me to show you how to solve this problem? Are you ready to how to see how to solve this problem? All right. Partial render. What am I doing in the partial render loop? Well, right now what I'm doing is every single time a ticker comes by, I do this lovely little tick right here, and then I go and I send something off. Okay, absolutely fantastic. Mm, okay, what am I doing with my client? Well, every 500 milliseconds, I'm sending up a message saying, hey, you should render again. I forgot to take that out, okay? Classic did not take that out. I'm a dum dum. okay? So what does that mean? Well, if you jump over to this code, you'll notice that the from sockets is a size 10. If you look at all the places that I'm doing that, I am sending commands over that means after five seconds of running on the client i will have received a maximum filled buffer it now has to wait here i did i simply doubted my own stupidity and there i am the buffer will set me free which means that if i jump over to this damn thing i need to do a little uh i need to do a little four i need to do a little select i need to move this bad boy up i need to do a little case right here take that we're gonna break that yeah um Right, we're gonna break. Uh, oh my goodness! Come on, outer, outer. There we go. Uh, and then I'll go like this: case command receive from socket. Print. Uh, oh, uh, yes, print. God command. Do copilot. At least finish it off for me. I'm now reading from the client. I'm now reading from the client. Look at this. We're now reading from the client. We're reading everybody. We're reading. Look at that. We're reading. I should have had this thing already built in. It should have actually been a part of the core thing, so this could never actually happen. But instead, I'm so stupid, I didn't actually do it. We're now reading. We're sitting here being dumb. I'm dumb. Are you dumb? Probably. Am I dumb? Proven on Twitch in front of my guess is 2,000 people, 2,400 people. All right. Well, I'm stupid. Born stupid. Died stupid. We'll have stupid skill issues on his tombstone. Shout out, Lua. Start. Here we go. And now this thing will run, and it will just 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 run, and it will run ad infinitum, okay? And it will break right here again, because again, I have uh, I have a bug right there. I'm, li I'm legally regarded, okay? I am legally regarded. <sighs> I hate... Highly regarded Netflix engineer. I am a highly regarded Netflix engineer. A new line bug. Yes, we're having a new line bug. I am a highly regarded Netflix engineer. At least I discovered that on stream today. That one's probably going to get me in trouble. You know, like out of all... Out of all things to get in trouble for, I think that would be the one. 
You know what I mean? Like, out of all things to get in trouble for, this would be the one only... The uh, It's because I'm saying I'm regarded. Okay, so here's the reason why. Is that there will be people that work at Netflix that think I'm bragging and calling myself amazing at Netflix. And then I'll have to go to HR and I'll have to explain highly regarded does not think what you think it means. Regarded. In fact, this meeting, some could even say, is regarded. But here we are. And so that's why I'm not going to do that. Because you know what? That's what's going to happen. And I honestly don't want to have to go to HR and explain them that regarded does not mean regarded. Okay? That's why I don't want to. That's honestly why I don't want to do it. Sold the, to the Matrix, dude. Sold to the Matrix. By the way, Anthony GG, if you are, are listening, thank you for following me. Well done. Hey, I actually think this guy's really smart. You should go watch his ghost stuff. He's actually really, really talented. I'm happy he just said he broke his uh, no following streak. I think this is a good move. I think when you don't follow people, but you interact with people on, on Twitter, you're not doing it right. You're just simply not doing it right because then it makes it makes you look like a tryhard, right? Like if you literally don't use Twitter except to just write stuff and that's it and you don't follow anybody and you just only write tweets and you never respond or do anything, then I think that's okay. But those people are extremely few. Extremely few. Right? Then use a blog. Yeah, use a blog. So, hey, I, I appreciate this, Anthony. I think this was a good move. If you, if you talk to people and stuff like that and you're using it, I'm on this team. I'm on this team, Anthony. And by the way, you should check out his stuff. He actually has really good ghost. He has, he's, he has really good Go content. Weren't you saying that Twitter is right only? I'm treating Twitter as right only, yeah. Anthony's good. Check out Anthony. He is a no bullshit programmer. Check him out. He's great. I actually really like it. Anthony GG, uh, good vids. He's, he's good videos. Very good videos. All right, people. Uh, how long have I been streaming for, by the way? Five. Oh, shit. Let's be done. By the way, this is what it would be like if I was full-time streaming. This would be so awesome. Okay, we got Chris Drummer drumming. Th there's another drummer that's drumming? What? Should we check out the new drummer? Poor Seth Drums. I love Seth Drums, okay? Is Seth Drums on right now? I feel bad saying check out a new drummer. I feel like I'm cheating on Seth Drums. Am I cheating on Seth Drums? Am I doing something wrong? I feel so evil. Um... Is Tej on? I would rate Tej again. I'd rate Tej today. I don't see Tej on. Uh, I'm not gonna rate S fan, dude. It, would I rate him right now? He's so into he's so into his Grand Theft Auto RP. He doesn't even look at any. <laughs> Zozen, yeah, Zozen. We could do Zozen. We could. Zozen is great. I just like to rate outside of the category. You know what I mean? I'm trying to rate outside of the category. Okay. Is Bash Bunny on? Bash Bunny is like, I like Bash Bunny. Bash Bunny friend. Bash Bunny friend. I want to raid friend. Why? Why Bash Bunny? He's outside of your category. Who? Jessica Mack. We've already raided Jessica Mack recently. I kind of want to explore here. Okay, we're gonna do Chris Drummer. We're doing it. Alinity, I I rated Alinity and gave her a follow already. We're not doing it again. Okay, we did it. We don't need to do it again. I'm not gonna do a poll. You know why? Because this is because this is my stream. I don't like real talk. I'm gonna be really honest here. I don't care what you guys think. I should do. If I do something that I, th you know what I learned? If I do what you guys want to do. I will become sad. If I do what I think I want to do, it makes me happy. You know, because I can't make you guys happy. I can't. You know, I, I, I have to run a stream and build things that I want to build. Because, you know, like what I, what I learned a long time ago is when I played or did things that chat wanted to do, 
it made me actually kind of sad. Write Elixir and raid who I want. This is managed democracy. Like when I used to program things that I think would get me better views or do things like that, I found myself actually becoming sad. Because I was trying to like, I was trying to be performative. I actually like Algo Bro. Is Algo Bro on? I don't see Algo Bro. I actually really like Algo Bro. Metamy, dang it, Metamy. Wait, he is? Fine. Fine. I'm going to follow. I'll have this on for another time. Algo bro, I have not seen him in so long. Am I not? Okay. Is this one of those sad things where I'm not actually following Algo bro? Okay, so I'm not following Algo bro. So what we're going to do is I'm going to sneak in. Okay, I'm going to sneak in. All right, I'm going to sneak in. But by the way, there was a point in my life where I tried to stream and make you guys happy. And what I found out is that it makes me a really disingenuous person. And I don't want to be disingenuous. You know what I mean? I want I want to be I want I want to be as as gen, as genuine as possible. And so that's why I just I've been doing only my uh only the things I really want to do cuz or else I'm going to be deeply unhappy. By the way, I do want to give Metami a dang it Metami always better uh to stream what you want. It is always better. Give the goblins what they want. Give the goblins UDP. Give them UDP. I don't think this will work out. Shout out uh Metami. If you don't know Metami just raided me. Oh, it does work. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Follow Metami. And I didn't want to do that. You know what I mean? I, want, I wanted to give you guys, like, the real deal. You know what I mean? I wanted to give you the real deal. I wanted to give you all 4.75 inches. Five, five inches. Five inches. I wanted to give you all five inches. Mi minimum. Definitely five. Definitely five. Definitely not in the fours. I'm not Joe. Joe only got three. Joe, Joe only got... So will you be streaming the Elden Ring? Did the Elden Ring DLC drop? Wait, hold on. Is the Elden Ring DLC out? Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was in June. I was like, wait a second. What? Is Airtree out? What? Of course I am. Of course. 